two compound movements, a couple accessory exercises, and about 45 minutes in the gym. Welcome to Reverse Pyramid Training, right here, right now. This is us, this is us. Yo guys, welcome back to the channel, Curran Blevins. Every single Sunday I release a new video, family, fitness, fun, that's what it's all about. So if you're new, make sure you subscribe by clicking the red button down below. And if you aren't new, make sure you hit the little notification button there so you know every time I release a video and so you don't miss it. Last week, I released a video that's all about intermittent fasting and what reverse pyramid training is. So I thought that this week would be the perfect way to piggyback off of that video and talk more in depth about the training program. Program. Today is going to be one of the workouts that I'll be doing for the next six months. Mind you, every single one of these workouts only focuses on two compound movements. That's it. Today is going to be bench press and overhead press. That's it. Those are the two movements. Everything else I'll be doing inside of the workout will be 100% different, usually because I sometimes work out at home at my home gym and other days I work out at the local gym in the area. So depending on where I'm at, those accessory movements will change, but I will be tracking those and doing RPT, i.e. reverse pyramid training, those days as well. If you're not sure what reverse pyramid training is, Make sure, like I said, you check out that video above because it will give you all the information you need to know as to what reverse pyramid training is and so you're not lost in this video. Today is chest and overhead press. Let's get it. pyramid training is what is called an AMRAP, where you're going to be doing as many reps as possible per set. You're aiming for a certain amount of reps, but if you can surpass that, you keep going until you can go no more. So I'm waiting two to three minutes right now so I can make sure that I'm completely recovered so I can give maximum effort on my second working set.
pretty good. I was pretty impressed with that. I felt good on that. I don't want to get too cold right now, so I'm going to kind of just snap in and talk really quickly about what just happened. So last week, I warmed up with 135, doing it 10 times. I didn't really do the six like I was supposed to. I was feeling cold, needed a little bit more. So then I did 135 times 10, 135 times 10 for warm-ups, 208 times, 185 eight times, and 165 11 times. This week I did 135 at 6, 135 at 6, 205 for 7, 185 for 10. So I got stronger in both of those sets. And then I also got stronger in my last two, 170 11 times. So I'm pretty impressed with that. That's pretty damn good. Let's get the overhead press. Same thing. Whew. Let's go. Let me out or let me in You play a dangerous game and no one's gonna win You tell me I'm not the same Well I have a heart to follow The truth is so hard to swallow That was ugly, but I'll take it. As long as I'm getting stronger, that's all that matters. perfect example right there the lesson to be learned is I went too hard the set prior and burned myself out which eliminated my last working set there I was too toast <sighs> so we're gonna be doing two tricep movements we're gonna be doing a pull down on this green band behind me and the second one is going to be a close grip bench press and we're gonna be doing a couple sets of those reverse pyramid as well since now you understand what goes on inside the reverse pyramid I'm not gonna go through the entire workout talk you through it like I just did on these two movements it's the exact same concept you're going to be focusing on five or ten percent decreases and you're gonna be going the heaviest set first aiming for these reps right here, second set, a little bit lighter. Like I said, five to 10% less depending on what movement is. If you need to double check that, check in the notes below, 
or check the video I posted last week, which will further explain that. It's always an AMRAP, do as many reps as possible. Keep it safe, keep it smart, don't hurt yourself. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed watching it, just to see what this next couple months is gonna look like for me. It doesn't sound hard in terms of only doing a couple compound movements, but when you are 100% focusing all of your energy and effort into that, damn, it's brutal, I promise. Give it a try if you're looking for something new. And as always, drop a comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching this video. Follow me on Instagram, at Curran Blevins. New videos every Sunday. Family, fitness, fun. That's what we're all about here. Click up above for more videos on intermittent fasting. Click down here for videos on reverse pyramid training. And make sure you subscribe, click in either of these. Until next Sunday, guys. Thanks.